Hi everyone, it's Dee from Turtle Dove. Today I'm going to make some mulled wine. Um, I think it's a traditional Christmas drink, in, especially in the colder climates um, of Germany and such. Um, this Christmas I made my very first mulled wine. Um, even though it's summer here in Australia, I still wanted to try it um, because I love anything with spices in it and I just wanted to make something special so I'll probably be making this um, one again in winter but it's my son's birthday, uh, well it was a couple of days ago, he's com coming for tea tonight and I'd like to give him a bottle of this um, along with his other gift that I'm going to give him. So basically, uh, mulled wine is just spiced wine. Um, and there's lots of different recipes. So what I did was I just went and Googled it. I'm just going to turn this down. I've already got two bottles of red wine in here. I'm going to use three. Um, turn down all right. So um, let's go ahead and, and make this. Um, now the whole idea, oh that's what I was saying, um, just go online and look at different recipes. I sort of tweaked, I, I looked at a few and sort of picked what I thought I'd like and omitted other things. Um, so you can sweeten it with sugar for instance and I'm choosing to sweeten mine with honey which is what I did over Christmas so just remembering when you make mulled wine you want to keep the alcohol in there and you don't want to get it to a rumbling boil at all um, because everything can be a little bitter which is what I found um, at Christmas even though it was still yummy and tasty and delicious um, I'm not going to mull the wine, so to speak, um, for as long as I did, and I'm not going to get it as hot, which was a mistake. So I did have four bottles. I've put two in. I think I'll just stick to the three because I don't think my pot's going to be big enough. So I'm using the Merlot. Uh, any red wine will do. Pick your favourite red wine. So this is sort of um, not too expensive. I guess the better the wine, the nicer it will be. But um, because I'm using three bottles, I didn't want to spend twenty dollars on a bottle of wine. So yeah, I think I'm going to stop at the three bottles. last one here and that will be for another time and then it's a matter of adding spices and remembering you want to bring it up to a, a slow heat not to a boil at all to add some spices so I have star anise so I'm going to use about well we'll see how many are in here maybe three for a bottle so maybe nine so I might use the whole might end up using the whole pack and these are all broken too one two three four I'm not going to use these because I don't want to have to pick, worry about picking them all out. And I think I have another one up in my spice cupboard. I'm just going to get 
This is not cut this open. This is where I have three packets. Oh, these are in bits as well. I'll be using the broken bits, but um, in something else. It'll probably, they might break in there anyway, I don't think it matters. Oh, they smell beautiful. Okay. And then I'll have some cloves. Mm, I just love the smell of cloves. bottle per bottle and I'm just about out of them so I have to go and buy another big bag I'm just keeping an eye on this the whole time next I'm going to pop in Whiskey. You can use brandy. I think brandy is the norm, but I like light brandy. So these are just the tiny little bottles. It's probably got one or two shots in there. Um, so I bought two. I guess you don't have to put this in. They used to um, use glass bottles. These are plastic and I can't open it because it's so darn small. <laughs> Here we go. So I might hold back and just pour in one and a half rather than the full two bottles because I don't want... Oh, these are really hard to open. I don't want to... Um, overpower the mould on too much so I can't get this open. There we go. They are very difficult. Okay. So probably one and a quarter of these. And then I can add more if I feel it needs it. To sweeten it with some of this Fleurio raw wildflower honey. This I bought from a health shop and it was $8. It's on, it was on sale, I think it's normally about $12. Mm. So probably about a quarter of a cup for each bottle, so three quarters, maybe one cup full. So I'm just eyeballing it. Spoons about. In another five minutes, 
the kitchen's going to smell very nice. Now I have read um, some people when they've finished heating the mulled wine, turn the heat off, um, they say the longer you leave everything in there when it's cold, the better, but um, as I said, my last batch turned out a little bit bitter because I think I let everything steep in here too long and I think I got it a little bit too hot as well so I'm just going to do what one of the recipes say and to bring it to the, the heat you'd like and let it steep for 10 minutes and then turn the heat off some recipes call for you to do that for half an hour I guess it's trial and error to your own taste. Now I've got clean hands, I'm just going to dip my little finger in carefully and that is nice and warm. I'm going to turn the heat right down. that I'm going to get a spoon. I think it can do with a little bit more honey. I'm just going to taste some. Mm, yeah I think it can do with a little bit more honey. Spices are just starting to come through. And let's just put in another couple of spoons, and that should do it. So now that's at the heat that I would like. Now I'm going to cut some of this orange. Slice it up and pop that in. a bigger knife. So in it goes. Oh, now I'm doing it too thin. I'm going to use an entire orange because I'm scared I don't want that bitter taste. So now this is just going to, I'm just going to watch it for 10 minutes. It can just mull away and I will be back to show you how I bottle them. So we'll see you soon. 
Okay, so 15 minutes later, um, I left it on a little bit longer, um, just tasting it and watching the heat. Um, so you can let it sit and cool, but I'm going to pop these in the bottles right away. I think the spices and the citrus taste has just come through enough for me personally. Um, okay, so I've taken the orange slices out because you can serve them up in the glass. I'm going to pop some in here later. So I'm just going to transfer some of this in the jug and I might just quickly take it over to the sink because I don't want it getting anywhere and it could become quite messy so let me just do that off camera quickly there we go so some did get in the sink, not too much Okay, so I have this funnel and I'm going to funnel it in this little bottle that I've kept. This had some mead or something in it, or port, I can't remember, and the bottle is really pretty, so that's going to be for me. Now you can sift all this if you don't want all the little bits and pieces getting in there. Okay, so that's the first bottle. I'm going to leave the lid off just till it cools. So doesn't that look pretty? Beautiful colour. And a very dark red. And this one will be for my son. So this had some sort of a mead um, in there. And I'll get the bottle again. So this funnel has um, come in handy quite a few times. So my son loves port and all that fortified type wines. So I think he'll, he'll like this. Okay, perfect. any other fancy bottles so the remainder is just going to be poured in these um, bottles I don't know what sort of a cap these are called but uh, they're used for water bottle table sort of bottles for water and I think that would just be good to store them in so I shall finish that Okay, so I finished bottling. So I have these two bigger bottles. That one for my son and that one for me. So I'm going to pop these aside for visitors and things. Or if we just obviously run out of that one. I don't normally drink a lot anyway, but um, I've been wanting to do this um, so that I could give my sons 
some and just have another go at it. So I think I'm going to use this. It's still nice and warm. Slices in there, and that, my friends, is how I make my mold wine. I'm just going to have a taste. Mmm, it is a lot nicer warm drinking it warm. Over Christmas we had it cold, um, but this is going to be a really nice winter drink I think in the colder months which for us here in Australia is um, June, July, August so I hope you enjoyed this video watching me make mulled wine um, thanks for watching guys take care and we'll see you next time bye for now